Submachine guns are the best weapon one can possibly possess for any close quarter or room clearing and counter-terrorist operations, as it requires very rapid action in tight spaces. Special forces across the world see these personal carry submachine guns in regular operations and are even issued as a secondary weapon to specialized troops like combat medics, tank crews, machine gunners, and snipers to help them in tight situations or in case they lose their primary weapon. We've listed the top eight most powerful submachine guns and their key features, plus some things to consider to help you choose the best one for you. Links to all products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You can also find a more detailed analysis and comparison tool on our website, allaboutsurvival.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Number 8. The Scorpion EVO 3 The Scorpion EVO 3 is a submachine gun developed by Cheska Brovica Company. The weapon is referred to as the Scorpion in the Czech Republic. However, for the rest of the world, it's marketed as Scorpion. The EVO 3 denotes that it's a third generation weapon. Though in terms to the design, this weapon is unrelated to the original Sav EZ-61 Scorpion. It's actually based on a Luago prototype submachine gun developed in Slovakia around 2002. The design of the Luago was sold to the Česka Bravica company. The Scorpion EVO 3 was first publicly revealed in 2009. This weapon is mainly aimed at law enforcement agencies. It's been adopted by the armed forces and police of the Czech Republic as well. The Scorpion EVO 3 has been exported to Argentina, Bolivia, Egypt, Indonesia, Malaysia, Malta, Panama, Paraguay, Philippines, Serbia, Thailand, Vietnam, and possibly some other countries. The Scorpion EVO 3 is a lightweight and compact submachine gun. It's suitable for concealed carrying and use inside of buildings, vehicles, and other narrow spaces. It's a blowback operated weapon which fires from a closed bolt. This weapon is chambered for standard 9x19mm Parabellum ammunition. There's also a version chambered for 40 s and w ammunition which is very popular as a police round in the United States. Receivers and many other components of this weapon are made of a polymer material in order to save weight. Number 7. The Beretta PM-12 Submachine Gun The Beretta PM-12 submachine gun was developed during the 1950s. It was first revealed in 1959. Letters PM in the designation stand for Pistola Mitrola Miche, or Machine Pistol. In 1961, this weapon was adopted by the Italian Army, Special Forces, and Law Enforcement Agencies. By modern standards, this weapon is outdated, though it's still used in Italy and some other countries. It's likely that it will remain in service for many years to come as well. This submachine gun was licensed produced in Belgium, Brazil, and Indonesia. The PM-12 was a compact weapon. Beretta designed this submachine gun that could be used by foot soldiers as well as vehicle crews. The Beretta PM-12 has a stamped steel construction and a tubular receiver. Both ends of the receiver are blocked by screw-on caps. This weapon has minimum moving parts. However, despite its simplistic appearance, this submachine gun is actually very expensive to produce. The PM-12 is a blowback operated weapon which fires from an open bolt. This submachine gun is chambered in the standard NATO 9x19 Parabellum ammunition. The Beretta PM-12 proved to be a robust, comfortable to use, and accurate weapon. The weapon is very stable when being fired. Though by modern standards, this submachine gun is too heavy. The original PM-12 had a safety button located over the pistol grip. A fire mode is changed between semi-auto and full auto by pressing another button located above the pistol grip. Such an arrangement is quite unusual. There's also an automatic grip safety which is disengaged only when the shooter grips the weapon. Overall, the submachine gun is very safe to use. Both manual and automatic safeties prevent accidental discharges. This weapon is fed from 20, 32, or 40 round capacity magazines. Number 6. The MAC-10 Submachine Gun the MAC-10 submachine gun was designed by Gordon B. Ingram, an American arms designer. He began to work on this compact weapon in the mid-1960s. This submachine gun was mainly aimed at special operations and law enforcement agencies as well as VIP security teams. By 1965, several prototypes were made. This submachine gun was evaluated by the U.S. Army, however it was not adopted. Production commenced in 1970 by the Military Armament Corporation, or MAC. In 1976, the MAC went bust and production rights for this weapon were transferred to RPB Industries Incorporated. 
Later, the submachine gun was also manufactured by some other companies. Ingram submachine guns were exported to Chile, Yugoslavia, and some other Asian and South American countries. Copies of this weapon were manufactured in Japan, South Africa, and Taiwan. Today, the MAC-10 is no longer a premier submachine gun. However, it's still used by around 15 countries. These submachine guns have been designed for close encounters and concealed carrying. It's a blowback-operated, selective-fire weapon that fires from an open bolt. It has some features of the Israeli Uzi. There are two baseline MAC-10 or M10 models, chambered for 11.43 or 45 ACP and 9x19mm parabellum rounds. This weapon is simple in design and technology. Its receiver is made of sheet steel and consists of only two parts. These are held together by a steel pin. Generally, the MAC-10 is a very reliable weapon. Number 5. The Vityaz For decades, Soviet and Russian army units relied on the AK-SU-74. Based on the AK-74 assault rifle, the weapon featured a shorter barrel and folding stock and first surfaced during the Soviet Union's war in Afghanistan. In the 2000s, Russian forces introduced a replacement for the AKSU-74, the PP-1901 Vityaz submachine gun. Like the AKSU-74 and even the MP5, the Vityaz is a scaled-down version of a battle or assault rifle, chambered for pistol-caliber ammunition. The weapon has a folding stock with adjustable cheekpiece, an overall length of 27 inches with the stock extended, and weighs 6.2 pounds empty. The Vityaz has a high rate of fire of 800 rounds per minute, with a maximum range of 200 meters. Like other weapons worldwide, the manufacturer, Rosa Born Export, offers the weapon with a full-length American-designed Picatinny rail for easy installation of optics, lights, lasers, and other aiming devices. Number 4. The Heckler & Koch MP7 Looking something like a modernized version of the world-famous Uzi, the Heckler & Koch MP7 was developed around the same time as FN Herstel's P90 as NATO explored standardizing on a new submachine gun and submachine gun round. The MP7 has the appearance of a giant pistol, but with the weapon lies a modern operating system and an entirely new round expressly developed for the gun. The MP7 is a fully automatic submachine gun. Like the Uzi, the MP7 magazine resides inside the weapon's pistol grip. This configuration reduces the weapon's length with the shoulder stock extended to 25 inches and 16 inches with the stock collapsed. The weapon is made even shorter by the utilization of a gas piston system, eliminating the need for a bolt return system as featured on the MK-18 and other direct impingement rifles and carbines. The MP7 uses a 4.6 by 30 mm round developed for the gun and is designed to provide maximum penetration of body armor and an effective range up to 200 meters. The weapon can be fitted with 20, 30, or 40 round magazines. The MP7 is used by a number of special forces units worldwide and was reportedly used in the 2011 Abbottabad raid that killed Osama bin Laden, although it was not the weapon used to kill bin Laden himself. Number 3. The MK-18 Mod Zero Although not technically a submachine gun, the MK-18 Mod Zero uses the same 5.56mm ammunition as the M4 carbine. The ultra-short carbine has a barrel length of just 10.3 inches, making it very compact indeed. The weapon was developed by the Naval Surface Warfare Center Crane Division as a replacement for the Heckler & Koch MP5 submachine gun, especially in SEAL arsenals. The heart of the MK-18 Mod Zero is a new barreled upper receiver, also known as the Close Quarters Battle Receiver. The CQBR features a shortened 10.3-inch barrel and a modified gas system that cycles more gases into the system likely to allow the weapon to continue cycling properly with the suppressor attached. The MK-18 Mod Zero previously came with a carry handle, but later versions incorporate a Picatinny rail running along the top of the upper receiver to accommodate a red dot or holographic sight, light attachment or laser pointer. The result is a powerful, highly effective weapon that is usable in tight confines of urban areas and inside ships. Number 2. The FNP-90 Personal Defense Weapon Developed by FN Herstel, one of the most prolific gun companies in the world, the P90 defense weapon is a clean design break from other submachine guns. The P90 is a bullpup design, placing the magazine behind the trigger group. This allows the weapon to be shorter and more compact while retaining a longer barrel length. FN's unusual looking weapon has an overall length of just 19.88 inches, while retaining a 10.39 inch barrel. The P90 is fed from a 50-round translucent polymer magazine sitting parallel above the barrel. 
This eliminates the problem of a protruding magazine catching on objects when brought to bear. FN Herstel's weapon has the maximum rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute and fires the same 5.7 by 28 mm round used in its 5.7 series of handguns as an alternative to the 9 mm Parabellum. Coming in at number 1, the MP5 Submachine Gun. The MP5 Submachine Gun was developed by Heckler & Koch in the early 1960s. It proved to be a highly successful design. In 1966, it was adopted by West German police, border guard, and special forces. It proved to be an extremely successful design. Despite its age and the advent of new submachine guns and improvements in technology, the MP5 is in service with nearly 90 countries, including Germany, and its production still continues. This weapon is licensed to be produced in Greece, Iran, Mexico, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Turkey, and the United Kingdom. The Heckler & Koch MP5 is one of the most famous firearms of this class. Its only rival in terms of proliferation is the Israeli Uzi submachine gun. The MP5 is a blowback-operated selective fire weapon, chambered for a standard 9x19mm Parabellum ammunition. However, the submachine gun is unusual because it fires from a closed bolt and has a roller delay blowback mechanism similar to that of the Heckler & Koch G3 automatic rifle. This makes the weapon extremely accurate. This submachine gun can be seen as a scaled down and rechambered version of the G3. The MP5 is a high quality, reliable, and accurate weapon. Let us know in the comments which submachine gun you think is most powerful and why. Thanks for watching this video, and that's all for this one. If you found this video helpful in any way, please give it a huge thumbs up. Stay tuned for upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.